Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's fifth grade math review video, we will be discussing whole numbers problem solving. Let's get started. Remember fifth graders, think left and think right, and think low and think high. All the things you can think of, if only you try. Dr. Seuss. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can receive alerts when we upload new videos. The problems we will be going over are in our fifth grade math review workbook that is available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box. We also have our fifth grade reading review workbook available for purchase as well. That link will be in the description box also. Let's get started with problem number 24. The table shows the population of three Texas counties. The population of Gray County is missing. The population of Gray County is 35,000 553 less than the population of Anderson County. What is the combined population of these four counties? F 2,694,709, G 2,707,507, H 2,695,209, J, 2,765,815. What are we looking for? Very important question, right? We are looking for the combined population of the four counties. What information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer along with all of the, the total amounts for each county's population is also Grace County's population is 35,553 less than Anderson County. We need to know that because in order for us to calculate all of the four counties, we need to know what the total is for Gray County. How to solve the problem. Solving this problem will be a two-step process. Number one, we have to find the population of Gray County. Number two, we need to find the sum of the four counties. So let's start with step one, find the population of Gray County. Based on the information, we know that Gray County is 35,553 less than the population of Anderson County. So we are going to set up our equation. Gray County is equal to Anderson County minus 35,553. We need to find the value of Anderson County. We look over at our table and we see that the population of Anderson County is 58,308. So we are going to substitute in the value of Anderson County with 58,308. Now, since we have both of those values, we can subtract 58,308 minus 35,553 is equal to 22,755. So the population for Gray County is 22,000. 755. We're not done yet because now that we have that, we need to move to step two, which is finding the sum of all four counties. 
our equation is the population or the total population is equal to Anderson County plus Dallas County plus Brazos County plus Gray County. We are going to substitute in the values for those counties. Anderson County again is 58,308. Dallas County is 2,000,000. 416,014. Brazos County is 197,632. And Gray County is 22,755. When I calculate all of those totals together, my total population is equal to 2,694,709. What is the correct answer? We know what our total population is. Now all we need to do is look very closely at our answer choices to see which letter has 2,694,709 as their value. And if you said F, you are correct. Whew, that was a good one. Let's move to problem number 25. Again, these problems are in, uh oh, my mistake. These problems are in our fifth grade math review workbook. The link will be in the description box. Number 25, a company makes 625 cell phone cases each day. How many cell phone cases does the company make in 31 days? A, 18,375. B, 1,490. C, 2,500, D, 19,375. What's our most important question? What are we looking for? We are looking for the number of cell phone cases a company made in 31 days. What information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is that a company makes 625 cell phone cases each day. How are we going to solve the problem? In order for us to solve this problem, we need to multiply 625 and 31. Let's dive in. Okay, so what we are going to do again is multiply 625 and 31. The method that I use is not the only method or it's not the only method or even the correct method. It's the method I like to use in breaking down how to multiply um, Num more than two digit numbers, two digit or more numbers, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is multiply by the ones. We have 625 times one. So that's 600 times one, that's 600. 20 times one is equal to 20. And five times one is equal to five. 600 plus 20 plus 5 is equal to 625. Now, we are going to multiply by our tens. So we have 625 times 30 because that 3 is in the tens place, okay? That's where we get 30. So breaking it down, we have 600 times 30, which is 18,000 plus 20 times 30, which is 600, plus five times 30, that's 150. 
when I add together 18,000 plus 600 plus 150, my answer is 18,750. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those numbers 625 first plus 18,750. Now I can add those together. When I add these two together, my answer is 19,375. Okay, so starting and we can go over it together, starting with the ones place, five plus zero is five. Moving to the left, two plus five is equal to seven. Moving to the left again, six plus seven is equal to 13. We write down the three, we carry the one. So that is how we have nine because one plus eight is equal to nine and we bring down that one. Again, 625 times 31 is equal to 19,375. What is our correct answer? Do you remember what we said the, um, the answer was once we multiplied? If you said D, you are absolutely correct. 19,375 is how many cell phone cases the company will make in 31 days. Awesome. Let's move to problem number 26. Shauna is reading a 528 page book. She reads 22 pages every day. How many days will it take Shauna to read the entire book? F, 506, G, 26, H, 24, J, 550. What are we looking for? We are looking for how many pages it will take for Shauna to read a 528 page book in 22 days. What information can help us find the answer? The information we need is that there are 528 pages in the book and that Shauna read it in 22 days. How do we solve the problem? In order to solve this problem, we must divide 528 pages by 22 days. I mean 22 pages. Oh, I put days. It's really supposed to be 22 pages, guys, not days. Okay. In order for us to do that, we are going to divide, we say we need to divide 528 by 22. In doing that, let's go over our long division. First, we do 22 divided into five. No, we can't do that. That is why we have the zero at top. Now, do you have to put that zero? No, you don't, but it'll really help you with aligning your numbers. But if you're really good at division, don't put it. It's just a, a, a way to help students out who may struggle with long division. So since we know that 22 can't go into five, now we're going to move into how many times can 22 go into 52? And we say two. So now we are going to multiply two times 22. That is equal to 44. We need to subtract 52 minus 44 is equal to eight. We bring down an eight, so we are now left with 88. Can, and we're gonna ask ourselves, how many times can 22 go into 88? And the answer is four. Four times 22 is 88. When I subtract 88 by 88, that's zero, I do not have a remainder, okay? So 22, 
divided into 528 is 24. And H is our correct answer, 24. Let's move to problem number 27. Tara has a box of 908 beads for making bracelets. She wants to put 15 beads on each bracelet she makes. What is the greatest number of bracelets Tara can make with these beads? A, 61, B, 70, C, 60, D, 68. What are we looking for? We are looking for the greatest number of bracelets Tara can make with 908 beads. What information can help us find the answer? The information that can help us find the answer is that there are a total of 908 beads in the box and that Tara puts 15 beads on each bracelet. How do we solve the problem? To solve this problem, we are going to divide 908 by 15. And let's look and see how that looks. Okay, so we have 15 divided into 908. So first we're gonna ask ourselves, can 15 go into nine? No, it cannot. And that is why we have that zero at the top. Again, if you don't need, need to put the zero or it confuses you, don't do it. It's just the way of trying to keep all of the numbers aligned. Do what works best for you as long as you get the correct answer and you understand what to do next, okay? So now that we know that 15 does not go into nine, we are gonna ask ourselves, can 15 go into 90? Yes, it can. How many times six? Six times 15 is equal to 90. So we have 90 minus nine, that's zero, but we still need to bring down our eight. Can 15 go into eight? It cannot. We are going to put zero and put eight. So our answer, 15 divided into 908 is 60 with a remainder of eight, okay? What is the correct answer? Our correct answer is C, 60. So let's go back again to our division. The only number of Bs, even though we have a remainder of eight, Tara wants to put, that means there are eight beads left, right? Well, Tara wants to put 15 beads on each bracelet. And that is why it's only, it would only be 60 complete bracelets and then she will have eight beads left over okay that is why c 60 is the correct answer and that is it for problem solving part one don't forget we have our math, our fifth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store the links are in the description box. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you soon.